to it's me Kiani today's video I'm back with another natural hair update and today's video we're totally going to be diving into all the products that I use on my hair daily weekly monthly and why I use them so if you found yourself subscribing to my channel because of my apogee journey where I took you guys into the salon so we can kind of grow my hair back out and kind of bring it back from the depths of despair this video is totally for you and for those of you that are into this good, good makeup look, honey, you know what? I'm going to leave a link in the description bar. There's going to be a place for you to sign up for my virtual makeup class. And you know what? We'll get into all things makeup there. Okay? So without further ado, let me go ahead and catch you up on the products that I've been loving for my natural hair recently. Let's get into it. Let's just go ahead and say it. No good hair day starts without a good wash day. I have two products that I absolutely love when it comes to cleansing my hair and both of them are being brought to you by the Mixed Chicks line. This is a sulfate free shampoo brought to you by Mixed Chicks. I absolutely love that it. it gives me a full on lather to the hair. It does clean my hair. I can tell that my hair is clean, but I can also tell that there's no buildup on my hair. There's no buildup on my scalp. So I'm getting that really, really good lather that all good hair days start with. And sometimes just in between shampooing the hair, you know, I might actually go outside with the kids, let them ride their bikes and sweat a lot because honey, we are in the South and it is hot. Or I might actually just spend the day out on the back deck and watch my husband barbecue, which means my hair is going to need to be refreshed right before that next wash day, right? So I'm going to actually reach out for my mixed chicks. This is the co-wash. I'm absolutely obsessed with this and for a very, very long time, I actually used a co-wash instead of shampoo. But now that my hair has a little bit more length on it, I definitely want to uh, make sure that I'm cleansing my hair properly. So I use the sulfate free shampoo. but again some days i just need to refreshen it i need to get that scent out of it i just need to start over and that's where the co-wash comes in it's going to give you a really really good lather a hydrate and cleanse it's not going to really overstrip the hair it's almost going to make the hair feel like you've already conditioned it which i absolutely love it's a great balancer to a sulfate free shampoo but i absolutely love how the co-wash makes my hair respond in between wash days and whether i shampoo my hair with the sulfate free shampoo or i do a co-wash I totally end up in this spot right here. I totally end up using the deep conditioner by Mix Chicks. Oh my goodness. This is honestly my favorite deep conditioner of all times. I have tried so many and there, there are some that I actually like. But can I tell you that a deep conditioner really does set my hair up for success because it does lock in the moisture. It really does allow me to examine every curl especially with me having color treated hair i'm needing moisture i'm needing hydration i'm needing definition i'm needing a lot of nourishments that go back in that hair and can i tell you that every time that i try a deep conditioner i can honestly say oh man that one was a little too heavy or oh man that one acts just like a regular conditioner honey i just skip those steps and i just find myself going right back to the deep conditioner by mix chicks but I'm going to tell you, the thing that gives me the most hydration whenever I'm doing my wash day routine is my deep conditioning cap. I mean, honey, come on, my deep conditioning bonnet. I mean, honey, she's a look. Let me tell you, bless my husband's heart because he's working from home, honey, and he can come downstairs and I'm sitting here look, looking like, bonjour, bonjour, honey. It's not about, it is totally not about what I look like when I'm going through the process. It's honey, how we slay after the process. You know what I'm saying? Who would have thought that a cap that looked like this would be so amazing to one's natural hair? If you are deep conditioning, because you should be, if you're deep conditioning, you have to end your deep conditioner with a hot cap. This is, it is really where that deep conditioner penetrates into that dry, dry hair and it makes those curls just look like you don't even need styler it will fool you it honey it will fool you because you will think that you don't need to do anything else except let your hair air dry it's a lie but that's when you know that's when you know that the deep conditioner work it the hair should feel nice and moist if you need to detangle the hair this is where you're going to do it after you set in i definitely don't believe in trying to detangle my hair before i do this i do not i need that deep conditioner to penetrate in and i need it to make sure that it has done all the loving on my hair that it's absolutely going to do 
So the deep conditioner cap is brought to you by um, Thermal Hair Care. I think they call it Hot Heads, but of course, the information is going to be right down here. So I absolutely love it. Um, and all that means that this actually just goes in the microwave for 40 si 45 seconds. It goes in on one side 45 seconds. I flip it over, honey. We put it in the microwave again on another 45 seconds. And then what do we say? Alexa, give me a 30 minute timer. 30 minutes, starting now. Once she's saying hello, your 30 minute timer's up, then I know that my curls are ready to be styled. So let's go ahead and get into stylers. I don't know about you, but I cannot even remotely think about styling my hair after I've washed out the deep conditioner without doing a leave-in conditioner. My hair needs it. It is the thing. And my favorite leave-in conditioner of all times, and I've tried so many. The one that I go back to is the leave-in conditioner by Mixed Chicks. And you will see that this one is the salon version because it has a nice little pump right here because I can do four pumps of this all over my head in whatever quadrants I'm going to use. And honey, she just does its thing. I work it down from the root all the way down to the ends of the hair and I just really do a finger comb. So I'm not really using a dimming brush. It gives me too much shrinkage. Um, but I can really, really feel where the hair feels a little bit drier. I can tell where the curl wants to clump. Like I can just love on it strand by strand. You know what I'm saying? I have learned if I want to actually maximize my wash day, I have to use some type of styler. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky because my hair is fine, it's low density, it's colored, and it is, it's just, it's just temperamental so I have to be very very careful when it comes to stylus which is why I'm so excited to be bringing you guys this product I have finally found my styler of choice and that is brought to you by Curl Smith this is the curl defining styling souffle not to be confused with the in shower styler okay this is where it gets tricky I told you it gets tricky this is not for my hair this one is for my hair. The difference is the hold. If you can see this hold right here, this has a bounce hold, a level five. Very, very important because some people, when you have really, really fine hair and you try to use an extreme hold, baby, when you're gonna get your volume, that's just not gonna work. So this one is the, the in shower styler has a hold of 10. This is not the one. I picked that one up in era before. It works great on my son's hair. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that he has the density of three people's heads of hair on one head and he's 12. But as for us fine, low density, coily, curly, spicy ramen hair, honey, you need to go, we need to go ahead and stick with this one. Take a look, okay? Do not be fooled. This is going to allow us to seal in the moisture and the curl pattern. And I'm really gonna take that from the middle lengths of the hair and work it down to the end. Oh my God, this definition, this is day two definition, you guys. And honestly, if I wanted to have gotten up with my puff on the top of my head this morning, I could have just worked the sides and kind of sprayed a little bit of leave-in conditioner around the side and let that puff just do its thing. It was so, so freaking pretty. I'm just, I, this is how I know that I've gotten that prime, the right combination because the mixed chicks leave-in conditioner is giving me that moisture and then that gel that's in shower styler, they're marrying together and match made in heaven. So those are my stylers of choice. I mean, just those two things. I mean, it's pretty easy because we have loved on the hair, we've cleansed it, We've hydrated it, we've deep conditioned it, we've loved on it during that process, and then we get into styling and you bam, 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 air dry it for a while, diffuse it only at the root, and honey, this is, like I said, day two, honey, and with this type of fluffiness, I'm definitely gonna get at least day three, if not day four, out of this hair. But to get more out of your wash day, I mean, we really have to talk about how I refresh my hair. Let's go ahead and jump to the products that get me through in between wash days, shall we? So we've talked about we've talked about leave-in conditioners, but I don't necessarily need to repeat the steps that I did on my wash day. I want to do a lighter version 
And what I mean light, I mean something that's a little bit more liquidy but gives me the same benefits. And that's why I come to the Curl Talk line by Not Your Mothers. Oh my God, you guys, this leave-in conditioner is my new BFF. I'm on, honestly on my second bottle. You can find this at Ulta. All the products from Not Your Mothers that I'm going to mention are sulfate and paraffin free, which means that I'm not doing an imitation of hydration to my hair. It really does absorb in my hair. It gives me a lot of moisture, but it doesn't weigh my hair down. It softens my hair. It keeps the frizz at bay. It coats my strands. And she and I, we are, we're, we see eye to eye. But there there's certain areas of my hair kind of like in the back that get a little bit more abuse if I should say. This is where I typically diffuse more to get that volume so I don't have that those holes that us fine thin hair people hate. I don't want you to see have holes in my hair. I don't want you to see through it. I don't want you to see through my hair to see through to the back. Nope, 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 nope. I want volume. So, but I want to do that without... I want to be able to do that without snapping my hair when I'm kind of teasing it up a little bit. So that's where this product comes in. This is another product that could kind of do for a leave-in conditioner. And it is the Tahitian Gardenia Flower Mango Butter Curl Defining Detangler. And oh my God, this is absolutely a mouthful. And it's so good that Ulta is out of stock. I will tell you that Target does carry it. And I am absolutely obsessed. One, because the ounces on this product is... This one is eight ounces and the leave-in conditioner is six ounces. I honestly go through this so fast, but in between me using this, sometimes I just only have this because it's more left. Um, you can do either or, but <laughs> I just been loving this routine so much that I definitely doss my hair with both of them. <laughs> Wasteful. Oh my God, Keanu. But this product, absolutely. Um, I'm obsessed with so of course we're doing a leave-in conditioner so basically we started prepping the hair but we have to style the hair we've locked into moisture now we have to put that styler in what I like to use is another not your mother's product and that one is the from the curl talk line it is the curl activating mousse and you'll see here this is a level two when I use the um, curl defining styling souffle like I mentioned this is a level five so it's gonna give me hold that's gonna work really really decent for you know two three day hair but I'm definitely going to have to re-enhance that um, that hold so I'm gonna go in with something with a little bit a little bit less hold but still some hold so that level two is going to be very very important because remember when you're refreshing the hair you're not really starting all back over you're just basically reactivating the hair to do what it did on day one but better okay so I love that curl defining mousse and there are just some days that that day two hair was absolutely amazing and the roots have been stretched out you know we found us a bun we found us a bun honey we've done the most with our hair and the hair is kind of a little limp on day three. That's when I reach for my Plump for Joy Thickening Hair Lifter. This is also from Not Your Mothers. I absolutely love this product because it really does give me lift at the root. So it's almost acting like a dry shampoo, but it's more of a liquefied version. So you can really, really get that product. Can you see that? Right where you want it. So this is not one of those products that you're going to want to pop all over the hair because what it's going to do, it is not sticky. You'll see that it's not sticky, but it is dense. And you don't want to put it all over the hair because you're going to get texture. It's going to actually destroy the curl and it's going to enhance frizz. It's really only designed to go at the root. And when I tell you, it gives you volume. So it has actually been a really, really good savior when it comes to me not wanting to shampoo my hair over for that day three. You know what I'm saying? And I know you're like, well, Keanu, why don't you just use a dry shampoo? Well, sometimes I do. And that product, the one when I do want to reach for one, <clears throat> I'm just being really, really extra. I have been falling in love with the IGK. This is the Invisible Dry Shampoo. I am obsessed with that. Really just need to apply it at the root. It is saying that it's invisible, but I will tell you that I've gotten a little bit. You see it, it comes out really, really fine. It's a great volumizer for hair. But smells absolutely amazing. My hair smells fresh. It gives me good volume, but every now and again, I will see that my roots look a little bit gray. And honey, 
I don't care how good you smell. We don't want the gray. We we don't want it. So just be careful when you apply that. Don't get over zealous with it. Don't spray too much. Spray it away from the hair. You know all those things. And yeah. And lastly, when we're talking about when we're talking about coming away from the Apogee Pro treatment, that was something that I really had to use on my hair. And um, we were up to using that maybe every six to eight weeks on my hair. But I finally have, we, we've evolved out of that. We've cut all that damaged hair off. We've actually grown a new head of hair since the Apogee series. And at this point, I'm really wanting to take care of my hair at home. So I've colored my hair at home. I've trimmed my hair at home. Those videos will be linked up above. And now, how am I treating my hair? Let's go ahead and get into it. The products that I use at home to treat my hair to make sure that my coils are coily, to keep them really, really, um, to keep them dense, to make sure I'm not have experiencing a lot of shedding, is definitely going to be the Olaplex line. The Olaplex number three has been my savior on my hair. Absolutely love this product. It's one of those products that I use maybe twice a month on my hair. There's another video that gives you full inclusivity of how I refresh my color using the Olaplex. And now I just actually use that in between wash days. Um, again, so maybe twice a month, I rinse my hair, put it on my hair, leave it on maybe about 10 minutes, and then I just go into my regular routine. I absolutely, definitely um, stand behind the Olaplex line. If you have dry hair, curly hair, super coily hair, um, damaged hair, um, over dried hair, um, heat damaged hair, any of those things, I'm definitely going to definitely tell you to try the Olaplex number three. You can find it at Sephora.com. And lastly from the Olaplex line is the Olaplex number seven. I'm obsessed. I mean, I have been one of those people that really, really wanted to be able to use an oil in my hair but it just just trying to find the right combination was just it would always end up being too sticky or my hair would be too weighed down this product mm -mm, nope and it's a bonding oil so you'll see it's really really lightweight and i'm just going to pop it right over and this is really how I apply it. And I work it through my hair. Just really get in there, especially at the root, because that's typically where I diffuse. And you'll see if there's any crunch or cast on the hair left over from, you know, really applying that, um, that foam or that mousse or the gel, you'll see what it does. It just really gives you volume. It lets you break that hair up and get that volume going honey yes and it's really really important for me to put it right around these edges because with my wig wearing honey i snatched myself ball right here not really from gluing wigs down but just from wigs sitting right here so i'm seeing that that hair is trying to thrive and it's trying to flourish and come back honey and we want her to continue you know what i'm saying but those are all the products that I have absolutely been loving for my natural hair and, and just know these are products that work every time I use them which is why they were included in this video. So I want you guys to comment down below on any of the products from this video that you've already tried, things that you might be trying or you know what is there something else out there that you think I should be trying. You guys know I love to know. Comment down below. You guys also know I love to connect with you, so make sure you connect with me. Follow me on all my social media links to never miss another upload. If you have not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I have no idea why. Make sure you click that bell for post notifications so every time I upload, you are notified. And until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hugs and kisses. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.